Hi guys, my name is Alan and you're watching Alan Fit Stuff. So today what I have here is Plasma TV Panasonic 42 inch I believe it just doesn't want to start up and yeah it, no no standby light so let me show you so this is the the power for cable here this is the cable here oh so I just put it here just start you can see power and there is no standby light uh, whatsoever let me turn on the the power on the side still got nothing to do and the first thing we need to check is uh, whether the cable is working or not because this cable got fused in it so okay so this uh, power cable got a fuse protector here so this is fuse and I need to pry this open first there you have it you can see the fuse inside so take your millimeter and put into a uh, continuity continuity mode so when it touch it mean it short so let's test here so that means the fuse is good and so the cable is in good, good shape so let's disassemble the TV So this is the model number uh, if you want to check with your TV. So this is the inside of um, the TV. So you can see this is the power board and this is the main board and also the small one at the bottom is I believe is the con board. Or panel, I'm not sure. I believe it's Ticon board, maybe. I'm not really sure. And uh, this is Y board or Z board. I'm not sh really sure with Plasma TV, but um, in modern TV, mostly they have about three board: power board, main board, and also Ticon board around here. So in this Plasma TV. Uh, we have the power here this is the power input this is the, the connector and we got two fuses here have this one and this one F201 and F202 and also we got F204 here oh, just doesn't want to focus so first thing first we need to uh, check the fuses whether it is still uh, short or not so yeah so I'm going to take my multimeter here it is I'm going to take my multimeter and I'm going to put into the continuity mode So if it shorted, it's going to have a bit. So let's test the first fuse.
my probe is that really good yeah still good this feels still two fuses is good and yep so the fuses are good and the next thing we need to check is this key prop let me show you a little bit closer we need to check this component here in order to check that component we need to uh, take out the board and flip it over and check from the bottom so yeah let's let's take it out first so um, you can see here this is the board so be, please be careful because uh, we have we have a lot of big capacitor in here so you can see here this is the key port here I'm not sure whether it's going to show in the in the camera so here is the key port so I'm going to and, and I'm using some sort of um, what I call this a uh, cardboard here or paper to isolate it from the body so that it just doesn't get shot or anything and uh, it's best for you to move this uh, power supply power board to another desk I just make it here because I want to make a video I want to make a quick video so this is the leg here the the, the leg for keyboard here okay so we're going to test it out going to put either this or this one so no reading no reading okay so this one so we got some reading here so that's that means good if if both are reading so you put here and here this is reading and this is also read read our number so let me show the multimeter I'm not sure whether you can see it uh, hopefully you can see that can you see that okay no sure sure at least so hopefully that read so then it's got some numbers this is number but when you put here it's no so that means it's good but at this point I don't know where to check anymore I'm not I'm not an expert in uh, repairing TV nor expert in electronic but I am just a hobbyist so I know a little bit and luckily I Google this online and I found a blog that have the same problem like me and he said the short ski diode is the problem here and let me show you the part so this is the part where he said the problem this is the short ski diode and this is a uh, continuation from uh, I mean uh, this diode is from the transformer here transfer switching switching transfer transform, transformers I'm not sure what you call it so this is the part is it on the cold side and I believe it should not be shorted when we test with multimeter so let me test first
Okay. So put my multimeter and yep that is shorted so it's short both so I want to try to replace that and we see from that if it uh, gonna fix our problem or not so yeah so I moved to another desk because <laughs> it's cramped to do it at the TV itself so this is the part that I bought uh, this is the short ski diet uh, B3100 I believe I'm not really sure so yeah so this is very cheap it not even uh, I believe I forgot oh no 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 I think uh, the price is about 20 ringgit so that means it's about five dollar America yes dollar so so here I have this part here so let's take one first oops sorry let's take, take out first okay it's a very small part so let's I believe it should not be shorted when uh, test with multimeter yep so there is no shot but I'm not really sure whether this is gonna fix uh, this power supply power board but let's try it first so, I'll take a little bit flux here hopefully I'm not uh, my hand is not blocking your views hopefully it's quite hard to get so yeah that's flux and we put a little bit of uh, soldering so that it make it easier to pull it out I'm going to put I'm going to add a little bit more salt in here okay now let's try to pull this out with solder sucker Still stuck in there. No. A little bit more. Alright, so we have to take this out. Uh, it looks like the pad is okay. Uh, I'm not sure what is that red dot. Maybe it got some sort of glue. So let's test this part whether it's short or not. Outside from the board.
No? Yes. It is short. Can you see it? Let me put here. So let's test it out. You right. So this this uh, part is short. Before I put a new part in it, I want to clean it first. So stay tuned. Uh, for the new part, I'm going to apply a little bit of solder here. So going to thin this. All right. Now take our new part. Sorry about it. I think that's already connected. See, is it connected? It doesn't move. Okay, that's good. So let's test with multimeter. So if it's connected properly. Yes. Does it still short? No. Oh. Does it short? No. Yes or no? No. I need to change the new pop. So this is in here. Yep. This is in here. Yes. So this and his. No. So, I believe that's it, and let's try to reinstall this. And before that, I need to clean it first because I put flux on it. So let's clean this board a little bit with isopropyl alcohol. Sit. So yeah, I've uh, already assembled the the power board here. So the connector to the power is already connected, and the main board. The, the this board <laughs> I'm not sure what this board and yeah so basically it's already connected and the moment of truth hopefully that it doesn't blow I'm going to start here uh, anything anything at all so we have standby light so let's see so power is it working oh this is so so heavy so wait a minute
Well, <laughs> it doesn't work. So maybe what I'm thinking, uh, this part here need to be checked first. Sorry, my camera just um, turn off. So what I'm thinking, um, I need to check this part here, this component here. This is diode and transistor. Also here, this, all of this. So, I believe that I need to check those and or you guys have any uh, idea, can you comment at the bottom down below? Can you comment down below and uh, where should I check? And yeah, as I said, I'm not an expert in electronic or TV repair I'm just hobbyist so yeah so but I'm going to try one more thing let's try to plug this out oh I forgot this light okay that mean I got more cable not connected here some cable not connected here what what am I doing I have two more cable here that are not connected so yeah let's try that that first okay standing by I heard some clicking sound. Oh, we got light. We got light. We got some light. Oh, see that? Woo! What? Yeah, we got some light here too. So let me turn this over and we have to see it first if it's working or not. Bear with me. Oh, this freaking heavy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, we do have. No, we have HDMI here. So let, let me. Uh, let me uh, reassemble this and I show you. Uh, what? All right, now I'm finished uh, reassemble it. So turn on and let's turn on power here. Okay. Now we got the HDMI uh, there. No, I have a uh, remote TV here. So going to change the let's try USB videos all right <laughs> great now it's working fine oh just a little bit just just a little small component and it's working great so yeah so if you have uh, the same as a model like me and have the same problem uh, there is no standby mode or no not even uh, let up 
So the first thing you must think about it, it must be the power board. So yeah, maybe maybe uh, you just need to change the to replace the short ski diode or maybe any uh, diode or keep rod and whatsoever. So yeah, I'm very happy about this. So and I see you again in the next video. So bye bye. Thanks for watching, and you're watching other free stuff. So please subscribe, share, and like this video. Bye bye.